Yeah. Do you think the world's view of hoodies and young black men might change regarding the Trayvon Martin situation? No. Mm. Because I think there's already, unfortunately, I think there's part of the country that's already made up its mind that Trayvon was the guilty one here because we live in a country that still has so much racial discrimination and I don't think that it's going to do anything to, to lessen those tensions. I think if you notice over the last few days, you keep getting this trickle of information. Oh, he really was a bad guy. He got suspended from school several times for having weed and for graffiti. And so what's happening, whether it's conscious or unconscious, is that he's being turned into a criminal uh, and into someone who wasn't the victim. Okay. And final question. Do you think it is necessary for neighborhood watchmen to carry firearms? Was this guy really a neighborhood watchman? That would be my question because I'm not so sure about that. And secondly, no. Back in the 70s, and well, late 80s, 70s and 80s, when crack cocaine epidemic was creating so much violence uh, in the city. I was living in the U Street area and we had an enormous neighborhood watch, orange hats we were called. The only thing we went out armed with were video cameras. Uh, and there were open air drug markets that we shut down and some very violent people who we sent away without ever firing shots. Being armed with a video camera is how we did it, not a gun. But that speaks to the gun laws in this country and the fact that this man could walk around in a community with a gun in the holster on his waist. That's crazy.